What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We got the new Lexus ES. This is a 350. I was actually going to review one of these a couple years ago. It was a 2020 model, but I had to abort that video for unspecified reasons. But we're back and now I've actually had a chance to drive this properly, get a good feel for it. So let's see how it does. Hey, I'm filming here. Let's get inside. Pretty good in the back seat so far. My only gripe is the plastic surrounding the climate vents are pretty cheap feeling, but it's not the end of the world. Let's see how the front seat does. Good looking car. Yeah, I do like the way this thing looks on the outside and on the inside too. Good styling all around actually. Let's get to it. All right, time for the button tests.
Okay. Touch those. And now for the final button. Here's your odometer, in case you're curious, just under 8,000 miles. All right, how did it do? Guys, to my surprise, this does exceptionally well. I've done Lexus before. Some were good, some were not as good, but this one was incredibly good virtually squeakless throughout most of the interior the back seat the doors the dash the center console and the screen all pretty good i did not like the uh, overhead console that could have been a little bit more solid than it was i'm not gonna lie there but everywhere else was pretty uh was was pretty good so virtually squeakless Lexus did a pretty good job. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10, which I was not expecting to give this car. But there it is. Lexus hit it out of the park. As far as the materials go, got to talk about that a little bit. There's uh, there's some really good, and then there's a couple things that I wish they could improve on. Like, for the most part, we got soft touch all over the place. We got on the uh, whole part of the door. And most of the soft touch they do use feels pretty good to the touch and has nice texture like see I like this little wavy design here it's also on the uh, other side and it's on the center console armrest I don't really know how they do that you can't really feel the wave so much I also like the wood they use in here we have open pour exposed grain wood on the door a little bit on the center console and on the steering wheel it, uh, it does feel really nice and expensive to the touch. I, I like that quite a bit. The seats, Lexus uses fake leather, it seems, in all their cars. For a fake leather, this isn't too bad. And we got a little bit of two-tone going on. We got another uh, color on there, black. I like the way it feels. The headliner and sun visor, it's both cloth. And I like this little attention to the detail. They use the... Uh, orange on the seats but it also carries over to the entire headliner and the sun visor they could have just made it black or your uh, typical light gray like they do in every other car but they actually kept this consistent with the seats which they really didn't have to do but they did and even some of the plastic around the overhead console and even on the sun visor itself the even the plastic is this uh sort of like saddle color orange whatever you want to call it they didn't have to do that they could have cheaped out and nobody would have cared but 
people like me care and notice that kind of stuff. So I'm happy they did that. They didn't have to do that. As far as the buttons go in here, this is just typical Toyota, Lexus. I guess they don't have to be expensive. They actually look all right first glance, but when you touch them, they're, uh, they're a little bit cheap. A little bit left to be desired. Like, I'm going to do this. I wish they could have just made this a knob. And then look at this animation right here. It's not even uh, colored, and it looks like something out of a 90s radio, for example. I don't know. They could have made that a little bit nicer, a little bit smoother. It seems very 90s Japanese electronics. So there's that. And then we got some of the plastic over here. If you kind of scrape it with your fingernail, it almost sounds like uh, like a record scratch. Don't know if you can hear that on camera. Sounds like I'm doing a Sir Mix-a-Lot remix. Yeah, rest of the interior is okay. We do have a bit of hard plastic in some of the lower areas, like not here, but more closer to the steering column. This area here and here is hard plastic. Wish they could have made that soft touch, but I'll forgive it, I guess. The rest of it's pretty solid, so I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10 for materials. So there you guys have it, your final score is 9 out of 10 for fit and finish, 6 out of 10 for materials. Please let me know your thoughts. Got to drive this around a little bit, I actually got it on the road, and it feels pretty quiet and comfortable actually. It's not really sporty or engaging to drive, though I have to be real with you. It doesn't feel like a European car, or even like a Cadillac, where it feels a little bit sporty and more lively on the road. This doesn't feel like that, even though the Steering is a little bit tight to give it that sporty sense. It's stiff, but it's electric power steering. It doesn't feel really connected to the road. It's just tight for the sake of being tight, if that makes any sense. So, not really a sporty car, but I guess if you don't care about that and you care only about the comfort and the reliability, of course, then there is nothing wrong with this car at all. It is perfectly fine the way it is. So, overall, good car. Not really my style, but good car nonetheless, and if this is the type of thing that interests you, then you should buy this. I give it a, a solid approval. So there you guys have it. See you next video. Peace.